my people how the heck are you guys it is sunday december 11th 2022 in big bear lake and i am so unhappy right now so unhappy right now so by now we should have had over a foot of snow we don't even have an inch of snow okay guys and now the final predictions are two inches of snow by the end of tomorrow you guys this is so lame what like i'm surprised oh my gosh i just can't believe it so sundays for my regular work i try to take sundays off right which i never do i work every sunday but today since there was a storm i decided to just do the best i could so every hour i have my phone waking me up because i needed to look outside to see what's going on so i can go out here and record for everybody and there's just no snow hour after hour after hour. It was just like raining, just drizzle, light drizzle. And uh, this just started about an hour ago, nothing special. So I'm just super, super, super bummed out. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. This guy cut me off. I'm super, super, super pissed. You guys see that, right? Guys, please do not drive like that up here. Please don't. Please don't. Alright, so yeah, so I'm uh you guys know how I would have reacted a few years back. Because I was an idiot a few years back until you guys turned me into a much better man. So thank you guys because I did not want to get in a fight today. I am just so disappointed. This is so sad. This is so sad. How are all of you today though? I know a lot of you were wondering where the heck the video is today. And unfortunately this is it literally maybe an inch maybe an inch poor skiers i feel so bad for you guys man oh my gosh and for all the people who spent a ton of money to come up here took time off of work so you spent a bunch of money and lost a bunch of money because you're not working and then deal with the long drive with traffic up the mountain and the nerves and the extremely high prices of hotels and Airbnbs up here. High food prices, like geez, guys, on behalf of mother nature, I'm gonna apologize to you guys. I feel really, really, really bad. I know it's not my fault I know it's not my fault, but I know people do come up here based on what my videos show and what I talk about. I mean, this is such a waste. I'm, I'm just, I'm just so, so, so sorry, people. Of course, we we need you guys to come up here to spend money because if you guys don't come up here to spend money, none of us get a chance to live here. This is a tourism-based town. That's it. End of story. So without you guys coming up here to spend some cash, then we are not living here. And then I have to live down the hill again. And I would rather move on to the next world than move back down the hill. So I am sorry, you guys. I feel like such a jerk. And once again, I know it's not my fault. Like, But remember when they said it was going to be like 18 plus inches, maybe 22 inches or so? And I was telling you guys what all the forecasters were saying. And I said, it'll, it'll be no more than five to seven inches. Like I was hoping that I was going to be really wrong and that we were going to get a lot more snow, but yeah, I was really wrong. It's not even going to be close to five, five to seven inches. It's just crazy. So all of you guys, I am really sorry. Um, this, you guys can understand how disappointed I am. I'm super disappointed. Like this is, 
Ah, it's, it's 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 such a bummer. It's such a bummer because I love doing this. I love driving in snow. It's just so much fun for me. So I'm I'm just super super bummed out, especially for you guys though, because I know how it is. When I used to come up here as a youngster, well, actually not a youngster, but to Lake Arrowhead as a youngster because I, I never really came up here to stay in, in Big Bear overnight until I was like in my early 20s, late teens. Lake Arrowhead, we, my mom had a house up there so we would, we would come up here for snowstorms and stay there. We're entering the, the village but there were quite a few, few times where you know we'd been planning on it because of a, a snowstorm and then we we get up here and nothing happens so this horrible weather forecasting i mean just the worst just the worst has been going on for the longest time and those of you who've been watching this channel a long time you guys remember that i that i used to think when i for the first few years that i moved here that some of the the local weather people were in the pockets of the ski resorts and the city council and, and, and whatnot, only because Ben from Ben's Weather works or worked at, at Snow Summit even while I was living here. I, I, I don't know if, if he still works there, but I used to think the dumbest thing that like, because none of these storms ever pan out, maybe he and the ski resorts have some sort of a financial agreement where he'll say whatever he needs to say for you guys to come up here. But I know that's not true. Um, after all the years of watching him, he states the exact same thing that all the other uh, weather applications say. But yeah, I used to think the stupidest thing. And uh, for you, Ben, out there, I know you probably never watch this channel, but if you do, I do apologize for all that crap I used to talk. It, and it wasn't trying to talk crap. It, it really wasn't. I, I just, I, I was... I would get frustrated because it would never pan out just like this storm and the last storm and the prior storm and the prior storm and the prior one and the prior one and the prior one. It, it would never pan out to be even close to what the prediction was. Even like up to the day it begins to snow. So um, I do apologize for, uh, for some of the things that I say out of anger because you, you don't deserve it. You do this town such an amazing job. Uh, service my friend you have saved a lot more lives than probably anyone up here because you are consistent with what you do and we all appreciate you I tell all these people here to go to the weather channel app only because that's the only only source that has been the most reliable and of course it's not that reliable but it's the most reliable of any of the sources I've used up here um, from every, I've used about 12 different applications for our weather and the weather channel app the premium version by far has been the most reliable but yeah I just want to apologize personally to you Ben for always talking crap back in the day Because you're, you're doing a great job and you have a really cool little uh, website and yeah it's just it's just me being an idiot talking smack so I apologize my brother yeah this is so unfortunate you guys the further we go this direction that we're going right now the usually the more snow we, we will run into. So the part of town that gets the most snow that's not in the mountain, that's not on the mountain, would be like over by the Big Bear Dam, Papoose, and Boulder Bay areas. Once you get to the Moon Ridge area, the lower Moon Ridge area, that's the end of the really good snow. And then the further you go in towards Big Bear City, less and less snow you will get and then once you hit Baldwin Lake it's like hardly anything you can get a foot of snow over here and then there will be an inch over there every time every time and it's only an eight mile difference
But yeah, so we're only gonna do the main route right now because this is the direction that, or the road that you guys take all the time. And so I just wanted you guys to see what it's like in the, in the main part of town right now. There's a little more snow over here than just right down the street at my house, so. But it's nothing significant, you guys. Like, absolutely nothing significant. And my car is gripping so much better than it did at two, one in the morning when we went out as soon as it's just, like, as soon as the precipitation started. Oh, I'm, I'm feeling so bad for you guys. I am so sorry. It's just not right. It's just not right. Because I know the effort it takes to take time off save up some money buy a bunch of warm clothing which is not cheap snow clothing is not cheap I'm sure every one of you knows that if you want anything decent it's not cheap um, then everything up here is so expensive the hours it can take to drive up the mountain from the very 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 bottom and then if you have a bunch of kids with you too you know Sometimes they can be screaming and are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Constantly pulling over to go to the bathroom when there aren't any bathrooms. Yeah, I know this this trip can be a nightmare. Uh-oh. Can be a nightmare. Even when we have a lot of snow. So this is at least when there's a lot of snow, it cheers people up. Because I know there's a lot of people who are super frustrated right when they come into town. Like right right when they freaking get here, they're just super, super frustrated. And then it just piles on from there. And as I said, as I said earlier, I'd like to apologize on behalf of Mother Nature, on behalf of everything. It's uh it's not fair. You guys do not deserve uh this constant misfortune when it comes to our accuracy of weather predictions. I, I have so much love for you guys. So thank you guys for not getting ups, upset with me personally. Because I am always trying to get you what I believe is the most reliable, honest information possible. And that's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Also, a couple of the, a couple people from where I like to send you guys sledding and stuff complain to me that they don't want me to bring people up there because it's their neighborhood and too many accidents or like this and that. It's like, where are these people supposed to go? Like, we kind of have, we have to have a little give and take up here because it's not a big area. And so we need some locations for you guys to come up here and have a darn good time so i mean with all due respect i don't care if a bunch of people get mad at me or like this and that i'm here for you guys the tourists the people who keep us living up here so um you know i'll i'll try to find certain spots in those areas that are not as traveled or something like that but um i really don't know what else to do i don't want you guys to come up here and feel like you have to be locked in your cabins because no sorry it's just the entitlement the sense of entitlement is just crazy to me i know you guys are super respectful people you guys aren't going to be like doing dumb things so i'm always going to tell you guys where i consider are the best spots so i mean as i said i don't care if people get upset at me uh, they're getting upset for the wrong reason. They should be happy and grateful that I'm a lot, I'm trying to make you guys have a great time up here. Because once again, if you guys don't come up here and spend any money, 98% of us can't can't afford to live here. Me included. So I'm gonna always show you guys where's where I think you should go sledding. It's not like I'm telling you guys to go onto private property. So, um, yeah, I'm 
sorry for those people who left me those couple comments about don't don't show these people these certain neighborhoods and this and that because uh, I'm definitely going to but I will tell them right now I'll tell you guys please be extra extra respectful please because these are neighborhoods just like in your neighborhood down the mountain you probably wouldn't want all of a sudden a ton of people just cruising down your street taking up all the parking spots and maybe even parking where you're not supposed to park but yeah so guys i i put up with a lot to make sure that i give you guys the best darn videos that i could possibly come up with and uh the best experience here i really do love you guys i love you guys a lot and i'm willing to like take some of the dirty looks and dirty comments and stuff because i mean once again for the last time without you guys none of them are living here and it's just it's it's incumbent on uh on you guys just being as loving and respectful as you are if if i thought you guys were going to be disrespectful i of course i would try to avoid things like that but no you guys have been so loving towards me and just so beautiful that i will always look out for you guys and make it so you can try to save a couple bucks Now we're on a street called Switzerland. That was Snow Summit right there, but they're not, they're not gonna let us into the parking lot. I already know that. So we're on a street called Switzerland and we're gonna take this to, uh, let's see, what are we gonna take it to? We're gonna take it to um, Crestwood and then go down Crestwood and then come out on, um, oh my gosh, Evergreen and then take Moon Ridge through the roundabout and then come back. So basically we just did a tour of the most popular spots where people end up going and staying and hopefully it helps you guys <coughs> to make a good judgment call. On coming up here, you guys will be fine. Yeah, since it is kind of slushy out here and it's 33 degrees, Actually, we're gonna turn down North Star. Um, the slush isn't the easiest to drive in, I'll tell you right now. But compared to last night or early this morning at like one, never experienced the roads so slippery. And this is like heaven right now. I haven't slipped once. But this these type of road conditions can be horrible. Horrible. The slushiness. The colder it gets, the better it is. At least from my from my experiences up here, the colder the temperature is, and the more kind of hard the snow is, the easier it is for me to drive around to get around. Okay, here's Evergreen right here. Some beautiful homes on 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 Evergreen Street, you guys. Very beautiful homes. Big homes. right across the street from here. Roll down my windows a little bit because the phone is overheating. We're gonna do the roundabout in the snow and then we're gonna head back. Such a disappointment. I mean, seriously, I was 
I had my phone every hour. I set the alarm for every hour to wake me up. And until just not too long ago, it was still like, like raining out there. Like a freezing rain type of stuff. It was, it was, it was horrible. The big old cabin right there. I don't know if you guys can see it too well. That, that place holds a bunch of people, I guarantee you that. Let me turn this up a little bit. Alright, we're on Moon Ridge Road here. Hardly any traffic, so that's a good thing. Oh, I am so disappointed, you guys. And I told a bunch of people who were concerned about driving up here. They asked me if, if they think they should wait. And I was telling most of them, just because I care about your safety, yes. If you're that worried, then this was not going to be a good storm to, to drive up here in. And, oh my gosh. I really hope, I really hope some of you did not listen to me. But at the same time... I gave you the best information from my heart. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just looking out for you guys. I didn't want anyone to miss their chance to come up here. All right, so yeah, so we're at the end of the roundabout here. We're not even gonna go by bear right now. We're just gonna We're just going to do our thing. Go in a circle here. Seriously, such a bummer. But it does look pretty. I'm trying to find some sort of positive here. I think they're building a snowman also, so that's cool. Love to see that. But yeah, this is terrible. You know what I didn't notice? There's a Christmas tree right here on this roundabout. I didn't notice that until just now. This poor guy, that's, oh, that sucks. Flat tire or like something. That's such a bummer, dude. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Right at the roundabout. I, I had a feeling this roundabout wasn't going to be too helpful. But that's what they chose to do, to spend money on that instead of other things in Big Bear. I hope that guy's okay. I hope his car's okay. Anyway, you guys, I'm sorry. If it starts to pick up and we accumulate more somehow, of course I'll be making more videos, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably do an update this evening, okay? I love you guys a lot. Take care, and I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry.